Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to GSM smart after been a long time I'm uploading the video uh, so sorry for my regular subscribers that's I have been I was busy with some other stuff so that's why I couldn't down uh, upload the videos uh, for a long time uh, so today I bring you uh, the Mobicell R9 that we're gonna bypass the Google verification account uh, so let's go ahead and start without wasting any time so first of all just click on let's go and uh, connect uh, set uh, click on setup as a new phone and here you have to connect with your Wi-Fi network in case I have uh, the my own network is this yeah. one uh, click on your Wi-Fi and uh, enter your password of the Wi-Fi mm, if it doesn't have the Wi-Fi you can also use a phone hot support uh, <coughs> if you don't have any Wi-Fi router you can use also another another phone hot support to make a Wi-Fi so as well also you can use your data if you have a data sim card just put your sim card and use the data of your sim card uh, so okay now I'm gonna enter the password of my Wi-Fi router okay after entering the password I will connect as you can see my Wi-Fi is connecting and uh, it's showing me some that uh, it has been logged with a, a Gmail account or Google verification account so as you can see guys it's asking me to verify my Google verification account on my phone so as I forget or oh, I lost the Google verification account so what I'm gonna do I have to um, unblock this phone so guys to do that I will go back uh, to the main screen just click back go back and as you can see on the welcome screen uh, so just here press vision setting click on the vision setting and click on talkback setting just turn it on the talkback option and then click OK and the talkback will be enabled and now you have to do just create like a L shape and as you can see just uh, just let me show you again just create like L shape and it will show you this global contact context menu so on this menu we have to click on the talkback setting just tap two time two time now as you can see the setting is open now so now we have to turn it off the talk back so just press this two button as you can see here for the volume press and hold for a one second and it will show you that suspend talk back and as you can see click OK click two time and it will suspend your talk back and now you are in the menu without talk back so now here just swipe it down and go to help and feedbacks click on help and feedback now click on the first one get started with what what get started with the voice access and as you are on the uh, this screen just click on YouTube uh, icon click on that and play the video and when you clone to play the video you will see the clock button click on that clock button and it will take you straight in the YouTube just close the YouTube video just go to search and then type it here GSM smart S M A uh, T smart and uh, just open the GSM smart and then click on to videos just swipe it down and swipe it down and click on Mobicell uh, any video on Mobicell that is uh, maybe gonna be something pure Mobicell Pure Google Verification FRB just click on that and uh, just click on the down menu to get the links as you can see here you get the links two links just click on any links and it will open for you the Google Chrome now click accept now click next and no thanks click on no thanks and after that as you can see we have the Google Chrome in our uh, 
settings. So you don't have to download this application. Uh, uh, download this application. Just select any of the text that is uh, you can copy. Just select and hold for one second. And you will see the option that copy, share and select all. Just click on share and hold on the Gmail. Gmail for two seconds and it will show you that two option pin or app info. Just click on app info and now click on the notification. After notification click on this uh, setting symbol. Click on the setting symbol and now click on these three dots on the corner. Click here. Oh, sorry. This three corner. Uh, three dots sorry. And as you will see the manage accounts, click on the manage account and then click on continue and you will be in the setting of the phone. So here what you have to do, you have to go to the app management, uh, sorry not, first of all you must go to the system and device, system and device and then here you can see the device security click on the device security and now click on the device administrator and uh, as you can see find my device is activated so you have to deactivate this click on that and as you can see the option for deactivate this device administrator just click on that and deactivate it once you deactivate just go back just go back again again and have, now you have to go to go app management on the app management uh, you must show that uh, is a show system turn it on show system apps or oh, just click on the configure apps and then now click down modify system apps so first of all as you can see Google Play services click on that click on the Google Play service again and disable it disable the app now click back again back go to the Google account manager that one you will get to go click back again back and as you can see or we are here just click on the Google account manager just find the Google account manager and disable also the Google account manager okay okay here we are Google account manager click on that also disable it as you can see the app, app is disabled now so the two application we have to disable one Google uh, account manager and the second one is uh, Google we can also disable it here just click on that and disable so after disabling it just go back to uh, your Google Chrome just click back click back click back and as you are in the Google Chrome click on the search and then search for the application that I'm gonna give you the link also in the description uh, is a remote R E M O T E remote one remote one G S M H and as you're gonna uh, type G S M it will show you that remote one G S M H click on that APK and the first uh, website you will see androidhost.org click on that and slide it down slide it down slide it down and you will find the download icon click on the download icon click continue and then allow and then ok and it will start it to download just click on these three dots and as you can see the download option just see as it's downloading I'll be back once it's done
okay is about to finish and as it's finished now it is 28.49 megabits file and uh, after finishing download just click on that and uh, go to your settings unknown sources just turn it on this option click ok and go back again and click again on the application and install it just next and install wait for the installation finish sorry about the background noise I'm just sitting on my workplace so it's a little bit noisy this side and now once it's done uh, what you call you're gonna click uh, done don't click on open just click on done and go back to the settings or you're gonna go back to the setting just click any text and hold it for a second and just share and then again the gmail hold it for a two second and app info and click notification and then click on settings and then click on these three dots and then manage account and then continue and now you are getting the settings so in the settings what you have to do you have to go now on the accounts click on the accounts and add accounts and now you can see a Google account just click on that and it will take you straight to the Google account now you have to sign in with your new email address so that you remember the password everything I'm gonna sign mine uh, so you can sign with your new uh, email address that is gonna be your email address so as you can see uh, guys I uh, put my email address after putting my email address I'm gonna click next and now it will ask me the password so I'm gonna hit okay after that check the password just click next and uh, then click uh, agree something like that and wait for it to finish it Okay guys, okay guys. once we have done with your Google account, uh, adding your Google account, just click back and uh, enable that uh, services, uh, that Google Play service and the Google account manager that you have disabled earlier, earlier. So just go to the Google Play store and enable it again and uh, then go back again and also show a system app and then go to the google account manager okay here is this google account manager and also enable the google account manager now just reboot your device now it's rebooting So this method guys uh, it may work also with the uh, another devices that is running on 7.1 or 7.1.2 uh, 7.0 also it can, I think is gonna work so this is a very uh, nice method this will work on uh, 7 up up uh, devices that are running on 7.0 up uh, version so I hope you're gonna like this video and if you like this video just click on the subscribe button subscribe the channel for the for the more videos and hit the like video now hit the like button also and uh, don't forget to share also now as you finish uh, restarting uh, you will see that uh, talkback is gonna be enabled so just click again that two volume button uh, at the same time so I've just put the pouch back and uh, click OK talk bad will be suspended and uh, you will go back and now just click on let's go and set up as a new phone and it will take a little bit time to check the update and everything so I'll be right back once it's finished as you guys see, you can see it say the Google account has been added so once you say that just click on next
I have just put on the charge because the battery was a little low. So getting in for so it will also take a little time. I'll be right back. And after finishing your uh, your what you call finishing touching, just click next next, and uh, you will be in your phone. Uh, as you can see, so just allow that. Allow 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 just anything. Just now you are in your phone without having any. And one more thing guys that you have noticed, you're going to be noticed guys, as you can see there is a running something like uh, dot dot. So what is the, uh, to solve this problem just go to the settings and uh, go to the app management, uh, app management and uh, just uh, go to the remote APK that you have installed earlier. Uh, just uninstall that application, click on that and uninstall it and click OK. And once you're gonna finish that until installing it will automatically goes off and as you can see it's been uninstalled so as like this you can uh, solve your this issue email account so I hope you like this video guys if you like it just hit the like button and subscribe the channel and I'll see you some other time with the new videos goodbye for now take care of yourself